Hi everyone, this is Abdul Wali and this is the first part, uh, part of complete AutoCAD course and today in this video tutorial I will teach you some uh, settings of AutoCAD and uh, whenever you open for the first time AutoCAD uh, so how to create new page and some settings and start some commands and we will do some works let's open your AutoCAD whenever you open AutoCAD uh, your AutoCAD may display like another so simply come here we can see this corner and click here and click on this new page and simply click on this open new page will create now you can see new pages created and uh, first of all in this new page uh, some settings you would like to do that settings you can see this down window and uh, if your window does not show like this so simply uh, come to this customization at this corner click on it and on sum up them but here two uh, uh, options are must one is 2d object snap you can see this 2d object snap it must be on you can see this 2d object snap here it must be on it is very helpful for drawing 2d plane or section or elevation so it must be on one it should be on and the another one is ortho mode you can see this ortho mode it is must it must be on you can see this is the ortho mode and after that uh, come to this uh, uh, object snap you can see this object snap on own end point midpoint on it and center and intersection and perpendicular it this pipe must be on for your first time after that uh, first of all you would like to select your unit which unit you will use like meter centimeter feet or inch so for that simply type unit u n i you can see click on this units and select here architect it should must be architectural and it should be inches and simply click on ok now your unit is inch and feet after selecting your unit so now i would like to start from this line command and i will explain some important commands in this uh, home menu which are very important for uh, 2d plan and uh, per section and per elevation and then i will uh, teach all of them but now i will explain that commands which are important for this to deploy so first of all i would like to start from this line command you can see this line command and uh, to take this command simply click on it and home menu or type line and you will take this command simply click on it and specify your first point it means that specify your start point let's start my line from this point and uh, if you want to draw properly horizontal simply click on this r2 you can see r2 is on now now you can see it is horizontal and it is also vertical to this side properly and where you want to finish your line simply click there let's finish my line here simply click here now you can see your line is finished here your first line is finished here if you want to draw another line to this side simply click there where you want to finish your line if you want to finish the command press the space and let's click here to draw another line and click here it is another line and simply go up and click here now it is another line and press enter now you can see these lines are drawn and if you want to draw your line by uh, unit some units let's uh, take this line command and let's start from this point and type let's say it should be uh, 60 feet so simply type 60 and sign up feet and press enter now you can see this your this this line is 60 feet and simply press the space to finish the command now you can see this line having 60 feet length simply uh, right click and uh, deselect all now you can see it is unselected and if you want to draw another line to this side by unit simply again take this line command and specify let's this is your start point and come down and let's 40 40 feet type 40 and 
hit and press enter now you can see this line is down and press the space to finish the command before to teach you the uh, rectangle command i would like to explain this polyline command it is very important for uh, 2d planes and section and elevations and uh, it is uh, it works uh, same to line command but uh, the difference between them it is selected is a one line let's you can see uh, start from this point and this is polyline and press the space to finish the command now you can say if i click on this uh, these are drawn by the help of line command they are selected as a separate object you can see separate lines are they they are separate lines and if i click on this polyline command it is selected as a one object all of them are combined these three lines are combined it means that these these three lines are joined after that offset command and now you can see this offset command offset command is very useful and very important for your 2d drawing so uh, let's click on this offset and now they ask you to specify the offset distance it means that whenever you give the distance it will copy a line or a rectangle that much away from your object let's it should be nine inches type nine and press enter now select the object which object you want to offset let's click on this line and which direction up down side or upward so simply click down side it is offset it nine inches now you can see this line this line is offset it nine inches to this side and simply click on this line and offset to this side now you can see this line is offset it by nine inches to inside and simply click on this it is also offset it to upward and simply press the space to finish the command uh, now i would like to draw a simple uh, 2d plane up a room two rooms uh, let's start from this polyline and start this point and they are uh, they having uh, uh, 30 feet length these two rooms and type 30 feet and sign of it and press enter now you can see and come down and it is 20 feet width and press enter into this side again 30 feet and press enter and then upward side let's simply click here it is already 30 feet and after that uh, this this is there are two rooms now simply click in this line command and specify this midpoint and come here and click here now you can see it is these are two rooms but uh, the wall thickness the wall having Mm, uh, walls having a uh, nine inch thickness so simply click on this offset command and type nine inches nine and press enter and then click on this walls outside wall and come in to inside now you can see this is the wall nine inch thickness and after that click on this line and now you can see this is your 2d plane up the two rooms room one and room to this room after that i would like to explain this and uh, trim command it is also very important this trim command you can see uh, this trim command is used whenever you want to finish or uh, delete or erase your extra part of your line let's uh, click on it and after that uh, uh, press enter you would like to press enter and then uh, select which part you want to remove let's this is extra part you can see this line and, and simply click on it it will remove it is removed now you can see this part is extra you can see this is it will remove this part and if you want to remove this portion you can remove it it will not uh, delete all the object it will delete the part of lines let's if you want to remove it it will show you let's click on it it will remove this part now you can see uh, for your 2d plane uh, you want to remove this line simply click on it now you can see in this for your 2d plane these walls are combined now these lines are finished and if you want to this extra lines between this and simply click on it it will remove now you can before to watch the next part of my video you would like to practice this four commands line fully lined and this trim command and this offset command you must practice it and then watch the another part and please subscribe my channel as well thank you for watching